Hello friends and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy. So today we are going to learn about a special type of form work which is used in buildings that is called as the aluminium form work. So what is aluminium form work? Aluminium form work consists of form work panels which are made from aluminium and these are sheets which are 4 mm thick and these sheets are welded to the extruded aluminium sections to form a framework as you can see here these are the uh, sheets 4 mm thick aluminium sheets and they are welded to these extruded aluminium sections and they form the basic part of the panel for aluminium formwork. So the aluminium used for this particular purpose is a special type of aluminium and that is a high strength aluminium alloy. Because these forms should be able to take uh, the load from the concrete and also they should be durable to be used again and again. Therefore a high strength aluminium alloy is used. The forms can be reused for up to 250 times. So this is one of the big advantages of using aluminium formwork that that is repetitive use of the forms. The repetitive use of the forms themselves make the aluminium formwork economical and you can produce mass scale uh, buildings or housing by using these forms. So the initial cost of this of this type of formwork may be high, but because of uh, a repetitive use, this becomes <coughs> uh, much more economical than the conventional type of formwork where we use the plywood and timber. Now um, another big advantage of using the aluminium formwork is that the formwork can be removed within 10 to 15 hours of casting and hence you will see that the time that is required for constructing the building greatly reduces as a result of this fast uh, setting and fast removal of the forms. Another big advantage of this formwork is that the concrete which is produced has a very good finish and therefore you don't require any external plaster to the surface. As you can see here, this photograph is showing you a building which is completed and you can see that there is no external plaster provided. This building will simply get a coat of paint and that would be the final finish of the building. Another important thing is because this aluminium formwork is custom made, is designed in such a way that very high skill labor is not required. So ordinary labor can assemble and disassemble this formwork. It requires between 4 to 5 days cycle for floor to floor construction. So that means that within 5 days one entire floor can be constructed. This leads to very fast construction. These are some photographs which are showing you uh, aluminium formwork. In the first photograph what you can see is the aluminium formwork and the reinforcement which has been put inside. The entire building in this case that is the outer walls, the slab, the floor slab, the roof slab everything is going to be made in RCC. There are no bricks or masonry units used here and therefore this becomes a sort of a monolithic concrete structure. In this photograph you can see the lower part of the slab where the props have been put. So you can see that these are all designed in such a way that easy removal is possible and Many times what is done is that this particular formwork of the slab is removed and the props are left in position for few more days to get till the slab gets the necessary strength. 
in this photograph you can see that even the staircases are made in this aluminium formwork so when the design of the building is done these staircases are designed in a modular fashion and they are used for repetitive use in various buildings and therefore you will see that the formwork is a ready formwork which can be simply assembled quickly and concrete can be cast now how does this aluminium formwork actually work in practice that will be clear from the following video which will show you the details of how the aluminium formwork works in practice Tax System Formwork Sundarian Burhad is an industry leader in integrated formwork systems and has successfully helped complete many construction projects around the world. Upon delivery, the formwork panels will be placed according to location requiring the formwork. Structural setup will be determined based on the structural plan. Then the steel bar will be installed based on the structural lines. Before the panels are installed, it's vital to apply sufficient form oil to prevent the concrete from bonding to the panel. When installing the wall panels, the workers will start on one side of the wall and install the wall panels with the flat tie. Once one side is completed, the opposite side will be continued with the wall panels and PVC sleeves. Please refer to this animation to see the portion of the wall panels installed. Once all wall panels have been installed, the installation panels of the opening area, which are the doors and windows, will proceed. Once the wall has been set up, the installation of panels for doors and window area are as follows. Beam bottom and beam side panel, wall ends. Once the inner and outer wall panels have been installed, the slab joining, SJ, components will be installed on top of the wall panel. Before the slab panels are installed, all the slab link heads and slab mid links are installed throughout the slab area lock together with link bars. Props are to support the entire slab system. Standard and non-standard slab panels are installed. Please refer to this animation for the portion of remaining slab panels installation. Slab steel bar are installed. All external kickers on the outer parameter of the building are installed. To ensure the wall is horizontally and vertically aligned, the tie rods and double hollow sections installed. M and E, mechanical and electrical conduits, are laid on the slab. Installation of the staircase wall panels. Installation of the staircase slab panel, beam and props. Installation of the staircase side panel. Installation of the step rises panels. Finally, installation of the upper wall panels. The installation procedure is the same for spiral staircase. Once the assembly has been completed, Job site project leader must check and verify if all panels and accessories have been installed correctly. When this verification is done, the concrete will be poured on the wall, beam, and slab in that order. After concreting, the dismantlement of formwork will start with the wall panels. 12 hours striking the formwork for the walls and 36 hours striking the formwork for the slab. Once dismantled, lean the panels along the wall by type and by location. When the panels of the opening area are dismantled, ensure that the prop will remain in its place. After dismantling the wall panels, the slab will be dismantled. While dismantling, ensure the prop and prop heads stay in its place and the slab panels do not free fall. 
The last to be dismantled will be the slab corner. When installing the external working platform, install them at a distance of 1.2 meters using the tie rods. After the bracket platform installation, install the steel hollow section for the platform and the safety nets. For upper floor formwork setup, use the same method and order as shown earlier. Ensure that there will always be props on two levels to support the slab. The external working platform must also be installed on two levels. Using the same work sequence, the installation and dismantlement of TAC system formwork will be repeated until the building has been completed. Building greener homes, creating better living. To find out more about TAC system formwork, please visit our website www.tacsystemformwork.com or get in touch with our professional sales consultants.